This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 90 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com Our email godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. This is Renny. She has an amazing testimony. She told me three months back she noticed a painful lump on the left hand side of her breast. She said she didn't go to the doctors, but she came believing in her healing today. And as you said, pain in her chest, she said the pain disappeared. And when she checked herself, she said the lump is no longer to be found, Pastor. Completely. Lump healed. is no longer there, child. No longer there. The lump is there. The pain is gone, child. Look at the joy of this girl. Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear girl? Is Jesus alive in this church? Tell the world. Pastor, this is Sarah. She says for three weeks, she's been suffering with a severe pain on the right side. Completely. Hands were numb and she could not lift her hand. Today, Jesus healed her and she can, can do move that. Move your fingers and all that. Child. You can move it. My daughter, you can swing your hand, everything. It's all Jesus. Look at the joy. Hallelujah. Look at the joy. Look at the manifestation of his power. He loves you, child. He loves you. Pastor, since yesterday, she says she's been suffering with the migraine headache. But when you spoke that word and said migraine headaches are going immediately, that headache. All the pain went, child. All the migraine, it's gone, child. You, you feel it. It's all gone by daughter. Who healed this dear girl? Who healed this dear daughter? Who healed her from all headaches? Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, for a long while, he's had a pain on his right shoulder and also on the ankle, right ankle. The Lord healed him and all that pain, all the pain is gone. gone son. You can move your hand up and down. It's good. You can move your legs, son. It's fine. You can swing it again, son. All the pain. Completely gone. 100% as I said. 100%. Love you, son. Lift your hand to Jesus. 100% I say. He's had pain on his uh, left shoulder, Pastor, for about a week. And the Lord has healed him. Go pain is gone. On the left side. Yeah. Swing it, son. Ah. This way. Ah, what? All gone. Hey, don't be shy. I'm not a girl. <laughs> Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. This brother has had pain in his uh, stomach area, Pastor, and burning sensation under his feet. Oh, that God. burning sensation has left, and he's feeling well, Pastor. Feeling the Lord well, has healed son. him. He loves you. The glory of God will shine through you, son. All the stomach pain, boy. Allah, boy. the biryani, boy? Ah, sore, boy. Da. Yen nindu vandu Allah, boy. 
he loves you. Lift your hand to Jesus. Yes, sir. This was powerful for 2007. She's been having an unusual heartbeat. And she came tonight into this place. And I asked her what you could not do. She could not take a breath and hold it for some time. But she did it tonight. And by the power of the Holy Ghost from 2007, the problem she had in her heart, unusual beat, gone away. She stands healed. Hallelujah. Lift Jesus. your hands and take that breath now. Take a deep breath. And look at me until I say. <laughs> look at her now. Because I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> Jesus loves you. All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed this dear daughter? Four months, pastor suffering with a problem in his knees. He could not bend. Ah. He could not move his knees. But tonight, he's able to do this. Bless you. Look at that. Look at again, my son. You can move it. You can do like this. And all that, as pastor said, all the, everything is gone. All the pain, everything. Bless you, child. Lift your hands to Jesus. So for the last six months, he's had pain on his knees. He mm. couldn't bend without feeling pain. But now mm. the Lord has healed him completely. Completely gone, son. You can bend your leg and show me, son. All the, all the pain is gone. You're free now, my son. It was even swollen. And the swelling also has gone. Oh, let me see. It was even swollen. And there is no swelling now. Ah. Uh, let the world know there is power in, in Dubai. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He is my everything. More than your mother and your father. More than your husband or your wife. More than your child or your children. More than your brother or your sister. More than your job or your ambition. More than your career, more than yourself and mine. It's all Jesus. He's giving you every opportunity. He's giving you every chance. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He, loves you. he watches over everything for you and me. He's my everything. He will bless you now. He will bless you now. He will bless you now. He is my everything. Yes. Make it your confession today, this morning. Are you born again? Are we born again? loves you. John's Gospel chapter 9. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seeing. The neighbors, therefore, who had seen him, uh, that he was blind. Is this not who sat and who begged? Some said, this is he. Others said, it's like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore, they said unto him, how were your eyes opened? He answered and said, a man that is Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and I washed and I received sight. My loving child, today the Holy Spirit brings this word to you and me. He was walking with his disciples. My dear ones, this man was born blind from birth. 
He, was, he never had a, had a knowledge of what light is. He was blind from birth. He didn't know what it is to see the sun and the moon. He didn't know what light is like. He was only acclimatized and accustomed to darkness. Darkness was his friend. He didn't know what light was. There was no opportunity for him to make a choice in his life. My loving child, my dear children, my blessed ones, you know, some of you may be here, God, I don't have the opportunity. I, don't, I, am, I am not fortunate to have the opportunity to choose good in my life. Every opportunity has been taken away from me. Every chance has been taken away from me. You may say, I don't see nothing. I see nothing good ever happening in my life. You may think that in your workplace, in your office, in your physical health or in your personal life, my loving child, there may not be many alternatives for you to choose. This man had no, no choice given to him. He was born blind in his mother's womb. He had not tasted what is good in life. He had not tasted what is beautiful in life. He has not tasted what is peaceful in life. He has not tasted that what is bright and beauty in life. He is all darkness for him. There was never a chance given to him to survive. There was never a chance given to him in life to rise up and be successful in life. There was never a chance given to him to do well in life. There was never a chance given to him to do what is best in his ability. You may say, God, I, I, I don't get a chance to prove myself good in my workplace. I don't get a chance to do well, God. I, don't, I have not been given the fair chance in life. This man was not given a fair chance and a fair opportunity in life to be successful or rise up and live in life. He was born blind. He didn't know what the world looked like. He didn't know what people's faces were like. He didn't know how his mother looked like. He didn't know how his father looked like. He didn't know what his house was like. He didn't know what he was wearing, what color of dress he was wearing. He didn't know how he looked even. He couldn't see himself in the mirror. He couldn't see himself anywhere. He was born blind. He couldn't remember any good days in life. He couldn't remember any joyful days in life. It was not a sudden sickness or a disease or an affliction that came upon him. No, he was never given a chance to rejoice in life. He was never given a chance to be happy in life. He was never given a chance to see who his mother and father are, how they look like. He was never given a chance to see how he looked in his life, how he was made. My loving child, my blessed child, you may be here, God, I have not been given a fair chance in life. My this world is unfair. This world is unjust because the world is under the sway of the defeated, dirty, unjust devil, my loving child. Therefore, you, must, you may say, God, I have not been given a fair chance in life. I have not been given a fair, right, just choice in life. I was not given an opportunity, God, to do well in life. You may say, God, you may say, my child, how many prayer requests I get people born with depression. Be people born with dirty, defeated diseases. My loving child, like this man, born blind, there was never an opportunity. There was never a chance. There was never any fairness or justness treatment in his life. He was deprived of everything. He was deprived. The darkness was all that was offered to him. Darkness was all that was made available to him. Darkness means sorrow. Darkness means gloom. Darkness means dirtiness. Darkness means sin. Darkness means defeat. Darkness means whatever fear. My darling child, that was what he was used to. That was not his choice. That was not his choice. He was not given a chance to live a healthy life. He was not given a chance to live a holy life. He was not given a chance to live a righteous life. 
And that's why Jesus saw him. My loving child, there is no one ever born on this earth can stand before him one day and say, I was not given an opportunity. Never, never. My loving child, no one can say that. Such a just, righteous, holy God. Such a just, when I see this, when I say this, I see him right here with his arms stretched open, my loving children. God is rejoicing. He is the only just, righteous, holy God. My dad, my there is no darkness in him. There is no darkness in him. He gives everyone a fair chance in life. He gives everyone a right choice in life. My beloved one, today if you are suffering God, I was deprived of everything good in my life. I was deprived, I was denied of everything good and righteous in my life. God, I was deprived and denied of everything that was blessed in my life. If you are here today in some area of your life, my beloved, some facet of your life or your family, you may say, my child was not given, was not given any chance to rise up in life. My, my family, my health, my dear child, today is a time that he brings you and me under the saving power of his today. My dear beloved, because there shall be no complaint. He is a God who is fair and just and holy and righteous and all merciful. My big, no one ever born on this earth can stand before him and say, God, I didn't get enough chance to know you. No, there can be no excuse on that day. He was walking. He was walking there. That's why the disciples saw him and said, Who sinned God? His parents sinned or his mother sinned or his father sinned or he sinned. He couldn't hold back that compassion. He is plenteous in mercy. Every one of you who are listening to this man today, you and I, he gives every one of us a fair chance to live a blessed, righteous life, victorious on this earth. No one can say. It is our ignorance. It is our carelessness. It is our deliberate forgetfulness. It is our deliberate carelessness. It is our deliberate un unwillingness to see what he has done for us. Streams of Miracle Life is Pastor Dale's latest book. Every module in this book is anointed with the power of God and His truth. There are also testimonies and praise reports that confirm God's living word. As you read this book, believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall have life and life in abundance. He has offered His life for you and me through His blood, my child. He has offered himself and he took your sin and my sin on, his, on the cross with him. He took your curse and my curse on the cross with him. He destroyed your death and my death on the cross with him. My darling child, my beloved ones, we are lazy, we are careless, we are caught up in that which is of this world rather than that which is in heaven. My loving child, my beloved child, he gives you and me a fair opportunity, an undeserved, unreserved unfeigned opportunity on this earth to know him, to love him, to come to him and to be blessed by him, saved by him, healed by him with long life until rapture and eternal in his father's mansions. He's such a loving God, such a merciful God, such a gracious God, such a good God he is for you and me. That is why he stopped. That man never knew Jesus is coming. That man has never seen Jesus, heard about Jesus. He, has, he, he, he had never had a chance of knowing the 
brightness and the goodness and the purity and the mercy and the love and the compassion and the life of God. Never had he been given an opportunity in life. To such people also he gives a fair chance. He never misses anyone born on this earth. If those who have missed it, it is out of their deliberate carelessness. Deliberate deafness in life. He always gives an opportunity to everyone. Lift your hands to him. Lift your hands to him. Lift your hands to him. And say, you are my good God. You are my good God. Shout aloud and say, you are my good God. You are my good God. You are my good Father. You are my good Savior. You are my good Healer. You are my good Deliverer. You are my good God. My loving child. My beloved child. He loves you. He stood there. He was not going to pass by without giving him also a chance and, and an opportunity to live blessed on this earth. Every one of you, he gives you the opportunity to live blessed on this earth. It's not the amount of wealth, savings. No, my beloved. It's the peace and the joy and the power of his saving Holy Spirit in you and me. He loves you. 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 He is here today. He is here today. He loves you. My dearest children, they were asking, who sinned, God? Who sinned? This fellow is like this, no eyes, blind. He's wearing dirty dress and sitting there like a beggar, begging on the streets. Jesus stopped for him. He didn't call him. That man, blind man, did not call him. He did not find Jesus. He did not request Jesus. He did not come to Jesus. It's all Jesus. God takes the interest and God makes the initiative. It's not you, it's not me. He loved us first. First John 4.8, 1 John 4.9, 1 John 4.18. 1 he loved us first. He chose us. John 15 verse 16. He chose us. He chose us and gave us the opportunity. My loving child, he is here today. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, my child. He loves you. He loves you. If only you can believe today, this morning, he gives everyone a fair chance to live a blessed life on this earth. Don't be blind. See it today, this morning, under the saving power of Jesus. Hear it today, this morning, under the saving power of Jesus. Don't ever complain. He loves you. He loves you. Don't ever complain and become discouraged in life. God, I was never given a chance. The dirty, defeated, lying devil makes you believe these lies. We say we are believers. Believe the truth and not believe the lies. We say we are believers. The dirty, defeated devil gives you symptoms and you think you are sick and you are going to die. That's a lie. You're not a believer. You must be a believer of him who loved you and gave his life for you. And because he lives, you and I shall live. That is a believer. Don't just say I'm a believer. Believer of what? Believer of whom? My loving child. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Loves you, loves you, loves you. He loves you. The Bible says, Jesus stopped by him. He said, I must work the works of him. He is here today. Sin has no authority over the blood of Jesus. My loving child, for God, sin is such a small thing. He just crushes it under his feet for your sake and my sake. He loves you. Death has been crushed under his feet for your sake and my sake. Curse has been crushed under his feet for your sake and my sake. He loves you. He loves you. 
Whatever you couldn't do and you and I could never do, he has done it for us, my loving child. He has presented himself faultless, blameless, sinless by his holy life on this earth for your sake and my sake. And presented himself holy and acceptable unto the Father when he rose from the dead and ascended to the Father as the Son of Man, my loving child, my beloved child, sin does not bother God anymore. Death does not bother Jesus anymore. Satan does not bother Jesus anymore. He has crushed them all under his feet. My loving child, you read Colossians 1, 16, 17. You read Ephesians 1, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You read 1 John 3, 8. You read Colossians 2, 14 and 15. You read Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. You read Hebrews 2, verse 9. You read Colossians 1, verse 13. My darling child, he is here today. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus loves you and my books are there Jesus Christ heals even now Jesus Christ heals even now my book my latest book on rapture my beloved people everyone washed by the blood of Jesus everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon we are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years we are going to go into our father's mansions. He's going to come in mid there to take us, rapture us. My latest book on rapture, don't miss that. And my powerful book, Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. And then streams of miracle life, streams of miracle life. Get these books, my magazines. Every three months, we put out magazines, signs, wonders, and miracles. Every three months, we send them internationally, and it's full of credible, documented evidences of God's instant miracle healing works. Testimonies, praise reports in our magazines. You can send your request. We'll get it across to you. Signs, wonders, and miracles magazines. All our miracles, it's increasing. John 14, 12 greater works greater works now until rapture it's increasing it's increasing we will send you our magazines signs wonders and miracles send us your prayer requests send us your requests we will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle we love you and more than us jesus loves you jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well jesus loves you see you again and Jesus loves you.